Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 4th of April. So I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. It's also available for Multicharts, TradeStation and NinjaTrader. I'm looking at Wayfair W, the ticker W on the four hour time frame, a favorite time frame of mine for swing trading, that fifth wave move. Now, as we can see on the chart here, we've come down to these lows 7660. We've been pretty range bound and then we've had a nice move up, helped by, although it was poor earnings, it was better than the previous earnings. So that was a nice lift there up to that wave three and those highs of 173. 72. We want to trade this fifth wave because it's the highest probability move in an Elliott wave sequence within a trend. So let's have a look at this now in closer detail. Um, again, this I this is just one of many trades I put in my swing trading membership today, and I thought I'd share this with you because it's only just slightly different time frame. Uh, so first of all, we've had that profit taking pull back against the main. Uh, bullish trend. So it's pulled back into our automated uh, probability zone. Here. So the green zone represents an 85% probability. If that support is found and it moves away, the 85% probability is going to go on and hit our automated target zone here, about $182. What we also look at is the performance of this wave four. One of the things we're looking at is our Elliott wave oscillator here. And that pulls back during that wave four and crowns between 90 and 140 percent, which it has done, which is a really good performance indicator. The next is the stochastic. The stochastic's crossed over in the oversold zone and turning back up again. We did get the false breakout bar for the for the move up here, but you can see the stochastic didn't quite continue that false breakout bar, but we have crossed over in the oversold zone. Also looking at my multiple time frame dot cloud here. Um, from our black box breakout indicator, we can see um, that this pullback here has found um, gone below the cloud, this EMA cloud here that you see on the chart on this four hour, gone in the cloud on the daily, but stayed above it on the two day, the four day and the weekly. So overall strong bullish trend still remaining there. And this is what a pullback looks like in our multiple time frame dot cloud. Uh, so combining those together, it looks like a really good, sensible, high probability move. But I want to be outside of our EMA cloud here. So I'm going to be a little bit cautious. So the last four hour candle from yesterday uh, was increased volume because we've got that green candle the first four hours is a gray candle. So it's an up candle, but it was lower volume. But then the volume started to come in in that last half of the session and really pushed through there. So good looking um, close yesterday. We just want a little bit more out of it. Want that momentum to continue. To do that, we've got an entry 159.41, which is way outside our 6.4 moving average high, which is our normal entry position. So those that was aggressive that use our indicator suite would have been in at 152.28 and been in quite a lot of profit already. But I'm going for a longer term swing here. So 159.41 is my entry. Stop just below the wave four low there, 146.60. And the target 182.50 into our automated target zone there. So decent risk reward. Let's see if that can continue into today's session and get us into that uh, trade. If not, into tomorrow's session. Future slightly negative as I'm making this video during the European morning, but not too much. OK, so we do have a good potential trade on the ticker W here uh, on the four hour time frame using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Very, very simple setup there. I'm just being a little conservative on the entry. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.